hey, just between you and me, this whole thing about me asking if I'm racist toward Filipinos, it's actually helping the channel and it's growing subscribers. So I'm kind of going along with it. This is the only time you'll ever hear me talk about it, but there you go. Okay, hey, I got a comment on a video called, you voted, I'm not racist toward Filipinos, yet we're all racist to some degree. Okay, someone named Miss G left this simple comment, you should travel, end quote. I left a simple reply, I'm married and I have two kids. But I wanna talk more about this. Uh, it is true, I'm a stereotypical American. I don't know as much about the rest of the world, especially Europe. But I do wanna be clear about this. I have absolutely traveled the world, arguably more than most people in the world, and arguably more than a lot of Americans as far as outside of the borders of the United States. And I wanna just kinda of go through those real quickly to, to show you, I have definitely traveled. Back when I was in high school, I was 17 years old. The summer before my senior year, I traveled to Ecuador. And I was part of a mission trip with my church. And we like put on plays and skits and did songs and stuff in the city there. And uh, we helped do games and stuff uh, there for that. Um, so back in high school in the summer of 98, I traveled to Ecuador for, I think it was 10 days, okay? Uh, the next time I traveled out of the country, it was uh, February of 2001, I traveled with my dad to uh, Trinidad and Tobago, and we were there for about 10 days. Uh, he's the uh, he's in charge of the quality control department for a major uh, playground equipment company, and so they do these kind of charity events across the world where they send their guys to uh, to set up and build a playground equipment in places in neighborhoods that maybe would have never been able to normally afford it. And so I was there to help set that playground equipment up, and then also. Uh, I helped a church there. Uh, they had these flannel boards where they have like Bible characters and they put them up like with cloth. And so we were there to introduce that system to teach Bible teachers there how to use the system. And so I, you did that. The next time I traveled out of the country, it would have been the summer of 2003 and 2004. I taught at a Christian school in Non Tabari, Thailand, which is right out, right inside of uh, Bangkok there. Uh, and I was first an ESL teacher, and then the next summer I taught a fourth grade class for those summers. And then right after that, uh, in the second summer, uh, I went to Korea at Myeongjae University, and I did a, a camp teaching English, uh, conversational English to high school boys there. So every time I've actually went out of the country, up to that point was always um, uh, for some kind of Christian mission. Uh, and then the last time I've actually traveled out of the country, it's been a, it's been a decade now, um, I went to New Zealand. My wife and I, uh, we spent uh, about a week in New Zealand and I loved it. So there's a review of all the places I've traveled. I've never traveled to Europe, uh, but again, I have traveled uh, to, um, to Ecuador. I have traveled to Trinidad and Tobago. I have traveled to Thailand twice and then uh, in Korea and then New Zealand. So those are the places I have traveled. So in case anyone is is tempted to believe that I'm that I'm don't know anything else about the rest of the world other than America, I have traveled a decent amount. Again, arguably more so to more foreign countries than a lot of people have. Uh, with that being said, though, I'm not denying that I'm sure to most people I'm a stereotypical American. I really don't know much about the rest of the world. And to be honest with you, and this is gonna rub people the wrong, wrong way, but I care more about being honest than I do you like, care about you liking me. Let me say that again. I care more about being honest than trying to get you to like me. Here it is. When it comes to geography and politics, and really even history for most of the rest of the world, I don't really care. When I first started this channel, people gave me such a hard time uh, about not knowing all the geography and countries on a map of Europe. I'll admit, I still don't know. I only know where a few of the countries are. And I don't care that I don't know, because here's why. I think to those, so to the same people who give me a hard time for not knowing where all the countries are on a map in Europe, I'd say the same thing to them about Africa. Can you name all of the countries in Africa? And if not, then I think that's hypocritical, because why is Africa less important than Europe? You know, I'm not, I'm not partial to one particular continent or anything like that in the world. I think Africa is just as important as Europe or any other continent or 
group of nations or whatever it is. So, you know, I know the stuff about the places I've been to and I'm learning more about the history of the world as I've learned that I'm not actually really ethnically Italian and, and why that is and why instead I'm Jewish and Middle Eastern, you know? I'm interested enough to make this channel and learn in the process, but I'll admit, if, if, if as far as someone being closed off in an American bubble, I get it. Like, to a certain degree, that's always gonna be who I am. I am closed off from the rest of the world, and I'm not denying that. Again, I care more about being honest than I do people liking me, and that's the honest thing. There's all kinds of stereotypes about me being American, um, that are probably true and that I'll never know because I can't see outside myself, which is a good thing I'm making this channel because it challenges me and it teaches me things that I wouldn't normally know. So have I traveled? Absolutely. Should I travel now? I'm married and have two young kids. It's not that easy to travel overseas. However, I do travel a lot throughout the United States. My wife's from California. We live in Tennessee, so she's got family out there. So usually we travel to California every once in a while, or at least once a year, and to Florida, because we're in Tennessee, it's not that far away. So we travel as much as we can, uh, but when you're 36 and a half and married with two kids, you, it makes it more complicated to travel overseas. Uh, so anyway, thanks for asking, thanks for saying that. Again, I wanted to say it the third time, I care more about being honest with you than I do getting you to try to like me. Because ultimately, the kind of people I want in my life are the people who are gonna accept me for who I am and, and, and not throw rocks at me for not being this perfect perception of what they think a YouTuber should be. That's just me being honest.